Hi guys, Yuri here again. Yes, we're gonna open more Crown Zenith. I'm doing another attempt on pulling another gold card from this set. Uh, as I was not able to pull it from the huge live stream, of course, a while ago. Um, and I opened a couple more boxes in previous videos, as you might have seen. Uh, and we got huge, huge pulls from it, but no gold card. Um, and I was actually planning to open so much more Crown Zenith because I, I ordered so many more products. Now, apparently, where I ordered my products, uh, apparently, it's it's um, <laughs> how would you say it's a scam. So, I'm in the process of now fighting that uh, that issue, uh, and I hope I can get some uh, something back. Um, but I definitely will not be able to get my products that I order from there because it's because it's apparently a scam, um, which. <laughs> Which means I will not open all my products that I still have left because otherwise if I was able to get all those products uh, I would have been able to open a ton more um, but yeah so it will be today only this uh, it's 42 packs in total uh, six of the big tins and three of the small tins because I have six of these big tins uh, of each of these big tins still so I can afford to open these. We're gonna start with the small tins over here and then we're gonna make our way up to the other ones. So let's put these ones a bit more to the back so we have a little bit more room. Let's see here. So let's go one at a time. Of course, we've seen these promo cards before and I hate the cardboard with it but it is what it is uh, yeah as you can see on the top corner there yeah actually on the bottom corners as well as you, about, you can see not the best condition this one but hey, it is what it is luckily we got more of these already for booster packs in the small tins, or not in the small tins, but the regular size tins. Let's uh, start with the Arcuno one. I'm actually thinking, what cards am I missing? I know I am missing all. I am also missing the Zerora V V Star, I think, from the Galarian Gallery. Um, I'm thinking I'm missing the Samurai. V Max, probably V Star. I'm not entirely sure. I'm, I have a lot of them, but I'm not sure which ones I'm missing still. Uh, we have a. Oh my god! CTS Ambition! That is right away one that I was missing. Oh my god! Beautiful card. Wow, with the gases on here. And I was kind of confused earlier. I, I For some reason, I thought there was a dog jump in this. Art, but I was um, confusing it with the trainer gallery from uh, was it Astral Radiance where Cynthia is with her guard on but a beautiful card here and a regular rare Volcarona wow okay very good start I say very good start uh, let's leave that one nice really nice Wow, first pack magic, did you say? Definitely. Already adding. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure we will get some doubles and triples because I've already got so many of the Galarian Gallery. Uh, but still. Let's see here. So we got... We have in the back, ooh, Latias, and a Hollow Leon, nice, nice, uh, I think I have Latias already, I think there's only three cards from the yellow borders that I'm missing, uh, I'm thinking the Riolu, I'm missing the Riolu, uh, which else, I would have to look it up, I'm not entirely sure, but... 
We'll see, we'll see. All right, so. Third pack in. Okay, pretty good first in, I'd say, definitely. I'm not sure how valuable the, the Cynthia is, but I think somewhere around 15 euros, maybe? I don't know. Do we have something over here? Reverse Hollow Salazzle and a regular Red Double. So nothing in that one, but that's okay. That's okay. And you guys might <laughs> question why I am sleeving the regular uh, rares. Actually, I did that all of the times already, but just off screen. Um, and it does give me a lot of work if I'm doing it afterwards. Um, I don't know if I will do it the whole video right now. I might not, but there's a regular V in this one, I think. Oh no, it's a V Star, uh, v -star card, uh, but it's flipped. But I think there's something else. There is the Paris and the Green V. Okay, double banger. There we go. Uh, and from the regular set, from the main set, I am missing uh, Elisa full art, I think. Um, I'm not sure what else. And I do I have? The, I, I think I have the Paris already, but I'm not entirely sure. But okay, so first tin was a. Pretty good one, was a pretty good one. Four pulls. That's uh, pretty good, that's pretty good. So Galarian Zapdos. Oh yeah, there's a code card of course. There we go looking quite okay this one it's gonna be a pretty long video but I still like it I don't think it was very actually worth putting this into another live stream because because um, during the live stream I opened over over 200 packs and in this one it's not at all that much uh, 42 packs it's 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 a good amount, but but it's I don't like it's not the same as that live stream definitely. But okay, so first back from the Galarian Zapdos tin, we got a water energy. Reverse Hollow Yanma and a regular rare Enamorous. Slower start from this one, definitely. Okay. There's something in this. Ooh, Hisuian Gudra. Nice. And a regular rare Tauros. I think I have the Gudra. I could be wrong, but I think I do. I think I do. Good, good. I mean, if we're not pulling a gold card today, at least it would be nice to get to to be able to add to the collection, right? And right now we can add the Cynthia's ambition, at least. And we got a reverse hollow Aaron, 
and a Charizard V. Alright. Go. After the oh my god, can't open this. All right. I'm very excited for the for the new sets that are about to come out from uh, Scarlet and Violet. Actually, um, some might already be out by the time I'm posting this, but uh, I mean, at least. Of all of, of Shroud of Fable, I was very excited at first, but then I realized I shouldn't have been. So, ooh, Reverse Hollow Energy, numberless, numberless, unnumbered energy. Here we go again, and then the Charizard V Star. Okay, not bad, not bad. Cool. That's very fitting. Pretty surprising actually if you think about it that there's not a Charizard in the Galarian Gallery from this uh, in this set, right? I think it's not necessary either. The the set is successful enough as it is. Uh, and I don't think people are craving Charizard much more at this point in time. I wouldn't mind it. I would like it, but um I like the concept of the gold cards that are in this set by themselves too. And that it's all four legendaries from uh, from the what is it? I forgot the name of the region. Uh, it's not the Hisui region. Um, oh my god, Sinnoh. <laughs> the Sinnoh region. Okay, so finally done with the with opening the small tins because I, I just hate the cardboard in those let's put this over here maybe we can have a little bit more room that way okay so first pack of this tin I would love to get the Elisa full art too uh, so we can finish the main set as well because uh, that is I don't, I'm not sure maybe I'm missing one more than that but I'm sure of that one at least we got reverse holo young goose and a regular rare zero aura there we go Come on, give us something. Reverse all rare candy and a EVV. Okay. It's definitely one of the less common V cards, at least in my experience from this set. The V, the EV. Go, come on. Give us something in this one. No reverse hollow crocker rock and a regular rare dub wool. Yeah, this tin we're slowing down. <laughs> the more of the tins we're opening today. Uh, the first one definitely was the best so far. Maybe we we can get something out of this pack. So what do we have here? We got a Mareep Trainer Gallery and a Hollow Ditto. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. There we go, okay. Not too bad. Now let's dig into the big tins. 
let's start with the Arduino. And the big tins, I can actually still get them for a pretty cheap price. At the moment that I'm recording this, of course, because uh, when I'm rec when I'm uploading this, when I'm posting this, uh, that I think it will be within like, I don't know, two months, because I have so many videos before this one to, to post still. <laughs> um, that it will be in two months and probably by then it will not be uh, as cheap anymore because Crown Zenith right now is is, uh, is definitely rising in value uh, at this point in time. It is harder to get hands off, hands on the on the ETBs and the premium collection boxes uh, that we had that I had before. Uh, so that's also the reason why I'm not opening any more of those. <laughs> So let's see here, we got the code card for you guys in this one. Now oh, is this one a bit off center? And yeah, not perfect on the corner either. It is what it is. So five, pa five packs in this one, let's go, come on. I definitely prefer the bigger tins here. One more pack, and it's plastic instead of cardboard. Uh, and for the co for the promo cards, that's definitely better. That's definitely better. Let's see. Come on, give us something good. Oh, okay, we got something pretty okay. Deoxys. Oh yes, I'm missing the defense. The Oxus V Max um, from the Galarian Gallery. That's the one, and a regular rare double. All yeah, so that would be cool to get as well, of course. Come on. Of course, because I am sleeving all of these, uh, it will still be a pretty long video. This. But um, but I will have less work afterwards organizing everything. Uh, I hope you guys understand. Uh, if you don't, then maybe you should play the video at two times speed. Uh, then it goes by faster. Oh, Radiant Charizard, not bad, not bad. The first one of the day and the regular rare Berserker. All right. Come on. I mean, I haven't gotten too much value out of all these tins together right now. The first one was the best, definitely. With the Cynthia. Come on, give us something good. We got Manaphy from the Galarian Gallery and a regular rare Yen Mega. I mean, we are getting pulls, but it's, it's, uh, it's okay. Not the most valuable, but definitely beautiful cards. Definitely beautiful cards. Two more packs for this tin. I mean, right now for me, it's it's the the, the big tins are the cheapest way to get Crown Zenith right now because there's five in each. And I can get them for 24 uh, each, and uh, so that comes down to 48 euros for 10 packs, which is the same that is in the ETBs. But I can't find the ETBs at that price anymore. They're all priced higher than that right now. We got Radiant Eternatus, okay, and another regular rare preserver. Um, but yeah, the, the, the ETBs that I got from, uh, from Crown Zenith, I got those at like around 40. So definitely a lot cheaper, but 
I can't find the that prize anymore. Last pack for the Articuno tin. Come on. I haven't seen a silver border in a while right now. Come on, last pack for this one. Reverse Hollow Carnivine and a regular rare Heliolisk. Not the greatest. Not the greatest. Next, let's open the Galarian Zapdos. Big tin. Now I, I might still, if I, I don't know when, but I might still buy some Crown Zenith uh, products in the future. Um, I'm not too sure, but I could. Uh, definitely, like if we don't pull a gold card out of today's video, um, then I probably will, but I don't know when. Probably not too good to wait too long, not too smart to wait a lot longer, because like I said, it's, it's rising right now. We got the code card for this tin. Let's look at the card here. It looks good from the front. Yeah, a little bit on the bottom right corner there. A little white mark there. Like I know if the English cards would have the same quality as the Japanese cards. The price would go down for the cards, I think, or at least for the uh, PSA 10s, because that would mean they would be easier to grade. And um, but 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 still, I would still prefer the quality to be better uh, on the English cards. Because more often than not, you have damage on the cards. I mean, in some form, right? Wait, did I just... No, yeah, it's correct. Um, do we have something? A Keldeo. Yes, beautiful. And a Hollow Volcania. Beautiful card. There we go. Come on. Now, for some reason I have I'm having a harder time today to open these packs than usual. Okay, well there there's something in this. It's not gold, but it's definitely a good one. So what are we missing? The uh it's it's probably not going to be the the Axis V Max, because that one doesn't have a silver border. Uh, it could be the V-Star, um, whatchamacallit, the Zerora, maybe? That would be cool. Could be a double, of course, as well. There's a lot of good ones, so it's going to be... Ooh, another Entei. Not bad at all. That's the third one, actually. Cool. And a regular red dead wood. Nice, nice, nice. I'm going to put this one in a top loader as well. Um... Actually, I'm gonna do the same thing with the Cynthia because uh, it's the same rarity. Okay, yeah, let's put Cynthia in a top loader as well. There we go. Nice, okay. So that's a really, that's a really good one. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. Come on. Actually, we didn't take a look at the quality of the car. 
actually not from the sink. Did I do from the sink here? I think I did, but I'm not entirely sure. And the ente looks. It's hard to see if it's already in the top loader, of course, but nice one. That's a good, that's a good pull. Come on. Ugh. I think like in total, I was still missing 14 cards from the Galarian Gallery and there, there's 70 in total and I'm missing like three of the of the yellow borders so most of the cards that I'm missing are from the silver borders okay so what are we getting in this one I think there's something okay a number unnumbered uh, energy card and a heliolisk go the fingers are a little bit slippery today First holo switch and a regular rare Yen Mega. Alright, come on. So this is our 22nd pack for today. So we're just halfway through the video right now. There's a black border. Could be wrong. I think that's what I saw. Let's see. Oh no. Oh, it's the Altaria. Beautiful. And a Waylord regular bear. Nice. go uh, so that's it when it comes to the Galarian Zabdos or at least the first tin let's open the other Articuno tin right now and then we have one of each left so 20 more packs to go can we get a clean Articuno card in this one Let's see here, it looks good from the front. Again, not perfect from the back. On the top, you see like the smallest white marks. Man, these seem to be pretty hard to grade, probably. At least from what we see right now. So, another five packs. Come on, let's go. I think there might... Is there something? Oh no, there's nothing. Maybe a... Galarian Gallery yellow border, that could be. A Radiant Eternatus, okay. And Zero Aura. Come on, I would like to get the Raiolu from the yellow borders. Um, there were two more, but I don't, I, I, I do not remember which ones it were. I think, oh yeah, I was missing the, oh, was it the Slowbro, was it? 
Was there is there a slow bro in the Galarian gallery? I don't remember. Okay, so there's a black border, the regular V's. That's been a while as well. But I'm I do have all the regular V's from the set, so. You got reverse hollow bisharp and a Stoutland V. I think after this uh, tin, I might have to uh, stack up all the hits that we've gotten so far, because otherwise they will fall over by grabbing another tin. Come on. Ooh, Absol, I really love, and an Entei Hollow, okay. Um, I really love the art on this Absol. It just reminds me so much of Ireland. Uh, when I went there, it looked pretty similar in a lot of places. Nice. There we go. Two more packs to go in this one. The silver borders are not too, um, are spread a little thin today. Only got two so far. Reverse all soul rock. Okay, and a secret rare energy, uh, steel energy. Let's leave that one. It's not a secret rare, it's just because otherwise it would not be within the numbers of, uh, of this set. But it's not an unnumbered energy. Come on. Last back here. Okay, there's something. But it might, I think it might be a V star, um, a regular V star from the main set. Because uh, I think it was just in front of the V star car. Or not, it's not. It's, oh, okay, which one is it going to be? It is, ooh, the Luminia V. I was missing this one too. That's nice, that's nice. And a Yan Mega regular red. Okay, cool, really nice. Uh, let's see here. Very good condition. Very good condition. I already have this card, but from the Japanese set, um, the, the the what was it called? The G Star Universe. I think it was. Let, let's put this one in a top loader as well. Nice. Luminion. So we can add at least two new ones to the collection. Cool, cool. At least we have that. At least we have that. All right. Now let's grab all these hits <laughs> and put them together because otherwise they're going to fall over anyways. And let's grab the last one for Articuno. Come on, come on. Are we going to get a clean promo card? Finally or not? There's the code. Looks 
looks a little bit off center to the left, but not too crazy. Slightly on the right top corner. It's definitely the best one from today, but might have a better one from previous openings still. Right. Now let's just put this over here. We can still display the hits. Um, kind of. doesn't seem to be a super special card in this one but come on is there something no oh radiant charge bird there is okay and a regular rare enamorous uh, I mean the Charizard by far is the most popular radiant one out of them um, but yeah I mean and the radiant Charizard I think the, the one from Pokemon Go is more valuable than this than this one from uh, Crown Zenith, um, but I do like the art on this one more actually uh, because of the surroundings that he's in. Because in Pokemon Go, it's, it, there's not really a surrounding area on the card. Oh. Went too far. Reverse Hollow Emolga, regular rare Heliolisk. Nothing crazy. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Right, come on, come on. Man, it is kind of crazy though. Like, I was very lucky pulling two gold cards in. One of the earlier uh, earlier openings from Crown Zenith, um, and I got tons of pulls out of the live stream, but not a gold card. Um, so it, it has been a long time since I've pulled a gold card from Crown Zenith, and in a long time, I just mean a lot of packs: Reverse Hollow Double and a regular rare Pangoro. This is a rare reverse hollow. Alright. Two more packs for this tin. We gotta get something more. We gotta get something more than just a radiant charger bug. But it doesn't seem to be in our favor for this one. Let's see. <laughs> Another Manaphy from the Galarian Gallery and a Hollow Zamazenta. Ask and you shall receive. Can we get something more? It is Crown Zenith. Everything is possible. <laughs> Except a very special card <laughs> in this pack. Come on. Nope. Reverse Hollow Tapu Lele and a regular Red Orangaroo. Okay. Alright, second to last tin for today. So, 10 more packs to go. Yo, there. 
there's the code card. Oh. There's the card. A little bit right centered, I would say. Right sided, I should say. Looks pretty okay. Five packs again. And let's put this one over here as well. Come on. Zerora V Star. Deoxys V Max. Um, oh, I, yeah, I, I am missing a lot of the trainers of the. Um, Galarian Gallery, like Gardenius, Vigor, uh, Grant, uh, what else is in it? Um, there's a couple of them, there's a couple of them. Oh, there is something. There is something. It's not gold though, it's not gold. We got a... Ooh, another sweeping V, super cool. Yes. I already have this card, but it's definitely one of the, mo of the most beautiful cards in the entire set. Wow! Super beautiful. Definitely the best art out of the three legendary beasts. Wow. What a look. What a look. A little bit... Top heavy. <laughs> but, uh, very cool. Very cool. Let's put this one in the top lower too. Wow. Nice. And a regular air. The Belgian. Fingers are starting to get very slippery. I don't have any grip on the sleeves. Very good. First pack in this tin. How good can we get out of A10? Regular uh, reverse all tap Lily and a Volcarona. Come on. <laughs> My fingers are slipping. Hmm, nothing crazy in this one. Come on, give us the Raiolu yellow border. That would be nice. And it's the Paris. And a hollow bead. Not bad, not bad. Come on, two more packs in this one. Seven packs in total for today's video. Come on, come on. Reverse Alonessa and a Hatrini V. Here's something, still was not able to pull uh, Elisa from the main set. Man, it's a hard card to pull actually. Only have pulled the Pikachu Secret Rare once too. Um, so that shows it's, an, it's not an easy card to pull either, that one. It's very 
surprising to me that that car is only 10 euros at this point in time it was even cheaper uh, so it is going up a bit but it's very surprising to me that it's only 10 euros for the only secret rare that is in the main set and it's a super cool art too so come on what do we got reverse all heliolisk and a regular red blossom okay come on there we go another stack of sleeves here Okay, so we got one more tin to open. And it is the Moltres. Oh, 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 oh. Messing this one up. Come on. There we go. Moltres. The only one that I've still got left. For some reason, uh, from all three tins, the Arcuno was the most expensive, and it was not a lot. It was like only 20 cents, 20 cents uh, more expensive in the same store. So it was kind of surprising, I'd say, because usually these tins go for the same price. It's not like there's one standout Pokemon compared to the other ones, I'd say, like you usually have with, for example, uh, Paldean Fates, where the, where the tin with the Charizard is more expensive than the other two, because it's such a big difference in popularity, but here that's not really the case, I think. Uh, and if so, I would assume that the Moltres would be the most expensive one, but it definitely wasn't. So, the last five packs for today's opening. Uh, was it successful? Well, in the sense that we didn't get a gold card, then no. Uh, it was not what we were searching for, but at least we got a couple of um, cards that we could add to the collection. So at least we have that. Come on, can we get another silver border out of this tin? If not, maybe a card that we don't have yet, Pokemon Catcher and a Waylord. Come on. Four packs to go. Like the only thing that I, that I could say maybe to open, because I have a, a ton of them, are the ETBs, but I don't know. Those are also the most sought after products, I feel like, for, uh, for Crown Zenith. So, not too sure about that. Maybe if I buy more of the tins, Radiant Charger Bug and a Hollow Nessa. Three more packs. Come on, give us something decent to end it off with. Give us something decent. Even if it's one more pull with something decent. Reverse Hollow Snorlax and a Tauros. Come on, we gotta get something decent. Come on. We're not gonna end it on an empty tin, right? I mean, we got the charger bug, but. Ah, that's half a pull. Quarter pull, maybe even. The Charizard, Radiant Charizard, that would be a half pull, I'd say. Come on. Let us end with something great. Come on. We 
god. Reverse auto double. Oh my god. <laughs> no. It's not going to be the worst e tin from today, is it? Because it, it looks that way. It looks that way right now. Come on, we got one more pack to go. Give us some last pack magic. Last pack magic. Come on, come on. I believe in it. For now, for now. Uh, yeah, okay, there's something, there's something. It's not gold, it's not gold, but we can get some last pack magic maybe. Is it the last card or the second to last? It's the second to last. Okay, so we got something decent. Alright, so let's see what it is. Let's low roll this one we got. Ultra Ball. Digging Duo. Bishop. Energy Retrieval. Execute. Cherubi. Young Goose. After this one, Pokeball. Woo, yes, Adamant. It's one that I still need. Cool. And a Pango regular rare. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. We got another one. A good banger from the Larry Gallery that we still need it. Yes. So, at least we can add three pulls from today's opening. Uh, I'm gonna put this one in a top lower, by the way. Come on. So, not too bad. Not too bad. We got a couple of really good pulls, but they were not as crazy as some of the openings that we've gotten before. Um, so definitely the best pulls were these ones, uh, Adamant, Suicune, Luminion, Entei, and Cynthia's Ambition, of which we can add the Luminion, Cynthia's Ambition, and Adamant, and the two other ones are really cool cards that I already have, but still, super nice. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video, also don't forget to check out some of my other openings. Uh, I really appreciate all the support you guys give me. Thank you so much and see you guys next time. Bye.